This is me. I am she. One of many beauty queens. Inside and out. Have no doubt. I am wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. With no mistake. I can do all things. If I believe, I shall receive. This is me. Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garner once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. You guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how I go from this to was inspired by the brat i've always been a huge fan of hers i've always dated her style and i say you know what let me see if i can implement the same style on my locks so if you're interested in watching how i complete the hairstyle please keep on watching but before you do make sure that you subscribe to this channel welcome to the fam i would love to have you and don't forget to press the notification bell so you'll be up to date on all my future posts all right let's get right into so it. the first thing that's the most important thing is making sure that you have everything that you need from the hair to the tools to the jewels to everything i'm going to go ahead and show you what kind of hair that i use it's this uh what is it jamaican lock jamaican lock so i have four packs of these i also have this right here then you definitely need a pack of rubber bands and I plan on putting them in this little uh, cup right here and adding some oil in the cup and then placing the rubber band so that way when I apply them it does not snag on my roots I also have crochet weaving needle my moisturizer okay <clears throat> Doris Garden products okay get your hands on this Get your hands on this right here. It's the truth. Um, a beading tool. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is section your hair. So I'm gonna go through with the rubber bands and section how big I want my um, section. So first I want to moisturize each section with the Doris Garden products, which is the hydrating mist and the nourishing elixir. And I'm going to grab a rubber band and wrap it around the section once. We'll be returning to each section later on in the video to tie the rubber band around twice. But until then, we are going to repeat the same process throughout our entire head. I don't need this. I realize it's only making things a lot more complicated. Next, you are going to make sure that there's enough space in the section to pull the hair through. So you are going to stick both fingers through, making sure it's even on both sides. Then you are going to take a section of hair, twist it on both sides, fold it, and then slide about an inch through, pulling one side completely through the section. After the hair is pulled through, then you want to wrap the rubber band over your locks or your section one more time and tighten it, just like so. Then you are going to use the hair to conceal your locks, making sure that you tuck in the ends and the body of your locks, like so. Lastly, you're going to add the rubber bands along the length of your hair. I would say about four to five rubber bands. Repeat the same steps, twisting the hair on both sides, making sure that the hole is big enough, putting the hair through about an inch way, and then pulling one side completely through. 
Don't forget to loop the rubber band around your locks one more time just to make sure everything is secure and taut but not too tight. I didn't show this in a video, but I took a piece of the hair, twisted it down, and added the beads for, you know, some zhuzh. So you'll see that towards the end. Erica by who? That's by you. Who's like Erica by you?